Britain no longer recognizes Myanmar's ambassador to London. The move comes after the diplomat was locked out of the embassy by his own staff. Myanmar's military leaders apparently ordered the action after he called for Aung San Suu Kyi to be released. It's kind of cool. In the middle of London, you know, uh, this kind of you know, coup is not going to happen. You can see that, you know, they occupy my building. I am a son of Myanmar. Mr. Chor Swan Min's spokesperson says embassy staff had been threatened with severe punishment if they refused to work with the military. Britain has condemned the bullying actions by Myanmar's military. At the same time, Myanmar's army continues its violent crackdown in the country. At least 11 protesters have reportedly been killed in the northwest. The military is also trying to silence people who are influential, including celebrities who support the anti coup movement. Young Aikit will join us live in a moment, but first let's speak to Oli Barrett. He's in London and he's standing by outside the Myanmar embassy there. Oli, the ambassador has criticized the military coup in his country. Was the takeover of the embassy to be expected? Well, when he did criticize the coup in Myanmar last month, Myanmar had said that he would be recalled, but the ambassador had stayed in London. So I think it was expected that there was going to be some kind of removal process and that it may have to be forced. But clearly the ambassador and many of his staff were surprised by the way it unfolded here at the embassy here in central London. As you can see behind me, there are a couple of dozen or so protesters here making their feelings very much known there is a police presence continuing here as well what these demonstrators are saying is that they're calling for an end to the violence in Myanmar they want the restoration of democracy but they're also calling very loudly on the UK government to do more they're saying Boris Johnson speak up speak up and Ollie, how do we anticipate this is going to imp impact diplomatic ties between the UK and Myanmar now? Very strained ties already. Several rounds of sanctions and measures on the military in Myanmar from the UK government. There has been concern, I think, here in London that they may not have been having a huge impact, those sanctions that have already been taken. And that therefore calls into question exactly what the UK may choose to do next in terms of further measures and what impact they may or may not have. But this certainly strains ties further. The, the UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab called what happened here at the embassy uh, bullying he has though paid tribute to Charles Warmin's courage as he calls it and Dominic Raab the foreign secretary making it very clear that the UK will continue he says to call for an end to the coup the appalling violence as he describes it and he says the UK will continue to demand a swift restoration of democracy Ollie Barrett there in London Young Waikit is also with us. Uh, Waikit, tell us about the implications then for other Myanmar diplomats across the world. Well, Steve, the biggest message that the Myanmar diplomats will now have is that their every action is closely watched, closely scrutinized back home by the Myanmar army back in uh, Naypyidaw. But if the Myanmar army were to reshuffle leadership in embassies across the world, then really it puts individual countries in the spotlight because every individual country will have to decide for itself whether or not to first of all recognize the army as the legitimate government before recognizing any change in leadership but it comes as no surprise that the Myanmar army is so wary of its diplomatic community back in February there was a very famous uh, a pledging of allegiance from the Myanmar's uh, camp he's the ambassador to UN uh, Tom Motun he had pledged his uh, supports to the NLD had slammed very publicly the Myanmar army and shortly after that there was a recall of some 100 diplomatic staff from across the world back home in Myanmar uh, some 50 staff were sent out of Myanmar now back then the Myanmar army's stance was that there was nothing to do with the uh, UN episode it was really because those diplomats they say had completed their tour of duty and then in March there was some two dozen over diplomatic staff uh, in, in foreign nations across the world, such as Japan, uh, Italy, France, US, and UK, who had decided to go on strike. So you can see that the Myanmar army is very wary of its diplomatic community outside of Myanmar. And it's not just the diplomats that the military is seeking to rein in. The military continues to silence people with influence, and this now includes celebrities. 
Yeah, that's right. One of Myanmar's most famous actors, Pai Takong, was recently arrested. Uh, he's among 100 over uh, social activists, influencers, actors being uh, accused by the Myanmar army of uh, breaking this newly amended uh, incitement law called Section 505A. And since that amendment of the law, um, we have journalists as well as NLD politicians uh, and, and now celebrities being charged under this Section 505A.